Hello everyone, so Metal Geek, how y'all doing? I'd like to introduce you to a new show I'm going to be doing here on my channel. It's going to be called Gaming Spotlight. Now these are not full on reviews. These are just games that I'm going to spotlight. Games that I think you guys should go and check out. And today, we're going to be looking at Pure Solar and the Great Architects. Now, Pure Solar is a 2010 Sega Genesis RPG. You heard that right. Sega Genesis. In 2010. Thanks to the advent of modern technology, independent game developers are able to produce games for systems that have long since been discontinued on the market. And Pure Solar is one of those games. Developed by Watermelon, this game, to be honest, is not a game to be looked at as an independent, kind of like, good try but not quite there game. But this game is actually something very special. And since its Genesis release in 2010, HD remastered versions of the game have released on the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4, the Wii U, the Xbox One, and so on and so forth. Even on the Dreamcast. And when I say HD remastered, I mean the game was actually rebuilt almost from the ground up. But let's talk about this. Pure Solar was originally released as a 16-bit Sega Genesis game, and it's every bit the 16-bit RPG. It's a 64-meg game, which makes it the largest game on the Sega Genesis, and everything about it fit the Genesis, the look, the feel, even the music. And Watermelon even went so far as to utilizing the Sega CD add-on, you could actually use the Sega CD to have an enhanced soundtrack for the game. That enhanced soundtrack would eventually become the soundtrack for the HD versions, though even then, some songs were redone. Here, let's take a quick look at the 16-bit versions, and let's take a look at the HD versions.
Interestingly enough, even the HD version of the game uses the 16-bit sprites for the characters. Not sure why they went that direction, but that doesn't bother me. It actually looks kind of cool. And the HD versions of the game do allow you to freely switch between the 16-bit version of the game and the HD version of the game, as well as play the 16-bit version of the soundtrack or the remastered version of the soundtrack. Which means you can experience this game in all of its glory. You can play it in 16-bit with the enhanced sound, or you can play in 16-bit with the 16-bit sound, or you can play the HD version with the 16-bit soundtrack, or you can play the HD version with the enhanced soundtrack. It's pretty awesome and pretty cool. Now I'm not really going to talk about the story as I'm still playing the game, but what I will tell you is that the characters are very charming. There's a lot of humor in the dialogue and I love it. It has all the 90s RPG nostalgia with all the 90s dialogue cheese, but it does have a slightly more modern translation. For example, characters will swear. This game, quite frankly, is a piece of art, whether you are playing in 16-bit or whether you're playing in HD. It just has so much nostalgia, and you really can't look away. It's just, if you played RPGs in the 90s, this game is for you. What I can tell you is the game is not going to hold your hand. It's a very difficult game. This game was meant for the hardcore gaming crowd and hardcore RPG game players. All in all, this game is absolutely charming. I love it. Check this game out. See if you love it. Come comment. And maybe at some point, I'll do a full-on review for the game. Until then, this is the Metal Geek saying, have a great one, guys.